You're listening to the Inside the Mix podcast with your host, Mark Matthews. Hello, folks, and welcome to the Inside the Mix podcast. If you are a new listener, a big welcome. Make sure you hit follow wherever you get your podcasts. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you hit subscribe and the notification bell so you get notified anytime a new episode drops. And to the returning listeners, as always, a huge welcome back. Okay, so several days ago, to be exact, May 13th, Apple dropped Logic Pro 11. And there were some updates in there, notably the stem splitter. Now, I had discussed this previously, I'm looking at my notes here, on the podcast with Bobby Yazinski, and that was episode 134, and also Jonathan Weiner on episode 137. Now, admittedly, I haven't really dived into the world of stem splitting, and this probably is going to be the first time that I've ever done it, if I'm being brutally honest. But I am intrigued to see what logic can do, as I can see the value in splitting stems. For example, you're a mastering engineer, somebody submits a project to you, and they no longer have the project file. They've only got the stereo WAV or the AIFF file, and you want to or you recommend going in and adjusting some levels to the vocal or the drums or something, or you're doing a remix and you only want the vocal or the bass or any of the other instruments that you can separate using a stem splitter as part of that remix project. So I can definitely see the value in it, and I'm really intrigued to see the quality of Logic Pro 11 and what it can do. Now, before we dive into a demonstration, there are some prerequisites for using or being able to use the stem splitter you need a Mac M1 chip or later. So you need Apple Silicon, an Apple Silicon device. You need Mac OS Ventura 13.5 or later to run Logic Pro 11. And obviously you need Logic Pro 11. And I had to do some digging for this, but essentially you need to disable Rosetta. I had it enabled and Logic just hung and I couldn't open anything. And it turns out you have to disable it. So you have to right click on the application in the final window, click on get info, and uncheck the box for Rosetta. Now Rosetta basically runs in the background and you can run Intel developed apps with Apple Silicon, notably the ARA apps or ARA, however it's pronounced, or third-party plugins like Melodyne, for example. So unfortunately, the way I see it, and I could get corrected on this, if you want to run applications like that in Logic Pro 11, uh, you might hit a slight stumbling block, but hopefully I will be corrected on that and that will change further down the line. Okay, so let's give this stem splitting business a go. So I'm here in Logic Pro 11 and I've got this stereo final mix of this track called Alive off my EP from 2023. And there are two ways that you can stem split. We can right click on the audio region and then go down to processing stem splitter. Alternatively, you can go to functions and then it is stem splitter to look for it then stem splitter about a third of the way down and if i click on that and i've got the option here i can uncheck i'm going to leave them all in but i've got vocals drums bass and other but you can uncheck and only have the ones that you want but i'm going to do them all so let's give this a go split and it's creating an overview and we are done so what is the result here we have a summing stack where i've got my vocal my drums, my bass, and other. So other in this instance is gonna be like synths, effects, and guitar. And it has muted the original mix file. Okay, let's have a listen to the results. So I'm gonna unmute the original mix. So I'm gonna right click mute on off, and let's play this section. So this is the unsplit mix. Okay, and this is the split mix. So these are the stems, they've been split, but this is all of them together. Sounds pretty good. What I'm listening for here are artifacts that I don't want, anomalies, and I cannot hear any at the moment, and I'm using some pretty good headphones here. Okay, so let's have a listen to the individual stems. So I'm gonna start with the vocals. I'm gonna solo it, and then I'm gonna play it from the same position. Okay, it sounds okay. Obviously, there's this is the final mix, so there's reverb, time-based processing happening to this vocal, and you can hear almost like a metronome in the background. It sounds like the vocalist has recorded the vocal and then there is bleed from the headphones from the backing track. But obviously that gets lost in the, the maelstrom of the mix itself. So pretty good. Let's try the drums.
not bad. Again, you can hear when the when it cuts out there, there's you can hear right at the bottom the vocal coming through. But again, it sounds pretty good. It almost sounds like a really high fidelity MP3, which sounds counterintuitive. But you've got that kind of like sort of sound going on. So let's try the bass. Now the bass is a tricky one. It sounds okay, but there is synth bass there as well. So there's all these different frequencies. I say different frequencies. There's all this other information happening from these synth basses. So again, not too bad. And let's have a listen to other. That's not bad. If I had to pick my favorite out of the lot, it would be other. I think there, it's really those sort of higher frequencies and those instruments in those upper octaves, it's picking out reasonably well, to be fair. And I think it sounds pretty good. And the guitar sounds half decent coming out of it as well. But again, it's one of those ones, when you put it all together, then you don't notice those anomalies, but obviously soloed, they, they stand out. I mean, it's done a pretty good job. So let's play it all together again. Yeah, not bad. I mean, that's all of the this, these stems together, these these um, split stems. And I think it's pretty decent. I mean, again, when you separate them out, obviously you're going to get anomalies, but together, pretty good. And now what we can do with this is, I mean, if I press X and go to the mix mixer window here, I can change the levels of those individual stems, maybe some processing and go on from there. So you can see the benefit of stem splitting in that you'll be able to, for a remix purpose, you'll be able to just distract, extract a vocal or a bass or drums. Or alternatively, as I mentioned earlier, somebody submits a project to you and they don't have or the, the project itself, the project folder, or it's corrupt, you can now go in and extract it. So for my first foray, as it were, into stem splitting. I'm pretty impressed. So it'd be interesting to know what the other ones are like in comparison. And when I say other, I mean other stem splitting applications that are available on the market. Maybe I'll put together a video. In fact, yeah, I'll put together a video whereby I compare the results from the different platforms out there or a select few. So now I'm going to compare the split stem to the original mix stem that I bounced from the project itself. So I'm going to start with drums. So I'm going to play the drums. And this is the original mix drum stem. And this is the split stem. Okay, first thing I notice is that sort of high percussive element that I've got in there is missing. Um, that wood block hit is missing from there. And it's lost a bit of power, but all in all, not bad. So let's have a listen to the bass. So this time I need to make sure I've got it around the right way. So this is the original bass. So in there, you've got synth bass and you've got uh, my friend Matt and his bass guitar skills playing bass on that one there. So let's play the split stem and compare that. Yeah, you kind of lost some of those synthiness elements that you find in the sort of mid-range in that there, and it's more tailored towards bass, which kind of makes sense, right? It's split in bass. So let's try the other. So I'm going to unmute that, mute my bass, and this is the other stem. And this is the split stem for other. Now again, having done this AB, admittedly the trance gate that I've got on the ver in the verse there doesn't help in terms of my comparison purpose here, but I think that is probably the closest out of the ones so far. We haven't done the vocal yet, but I think that is the closest. 
the other stem seems to be the closest for me. Now, I wonder if that's because it's more sensitive to a broader range of frequencies. Now, I'm not privy to the back end uh, development or the dev team for this, but that's what I'm thinking. Maybe, who knows? So let's try the vocal and we'll do this one as a final test. So I'm going to unmute the vocal. So this is the original mix vocal stem. I'm never miss someone like you. Wrapped in your arms, I feel like new. Feeling high by your side, our souls align. Okay, and now I'm going to play the split stem. I'm never miss someone like you. Wrapped in your arms, I feel like new. Feeling high by your side, our souls align. Not bad. My first take on that is you've lost some of that lusciousness from the time based processing, from the delay and from the reverb, which is understandable right in this process. So not bad all in all. Um, I'm pretty impressed by this. Now, going back to what I said at the beginning of this episode, I haven't used any other stem splitting platforms. So I'm going to go away and I'm going to do some comparison with other platforms because this is my base level now for my comparison purposes. So look out for that episode and that video when I eventually do it. Um, but exciting stuff. I think that's pretty cool. I think stem splitting is an extremely useful thing to have in your arsenal as a producer, mix engineer, or just music production in general. So folks, whilst we are on the topic of music production, if you want to quadruple your output like I did at the end of last year when I released this EP, you should take on my 28-day producer growth scorecard challenge. It's a way of gamifying your songwriting, music production, mixing, and everything in between. It's entirely free. Head over to synthmusicmastering.com forward slash free, download the producer growth scorecard, and watch the accompanying video where I explain how to use it and quadruple your music output, folks.